Right, YouTube, it's Wow Sly. Um, doing another video on the Czech Army bedroll because uh, the first video I think I made of it um, when I first got it wasn't that great. It was bad light, and uh, obviously I hadn't had the product that long, so couldn't really describe it that well, um, other than what it was. So anyway, this is the Czech Army bedroll. As it stands, it's about a foot wide and about two foot long. My trainers are about a foot long. Add some uh, webbing straps in the end, both ends, so you can fold it over in half and tie it together to compress it a little bit. That didn't do much good. I also tried it in a massive British Army compression sack. Uh, that didn't work, it was still quite big and bulky. Um, tried squishing it in my Bergen, took up most of the Bergen. Didn't get it in a rocket pouch, so I generally put it in my Bergen and put the uh, the lid off the Bergen over it and attach the straps as normal, and just carry it externally. Uh, you could fashion a shoulder strap to it, carry it on your shoulder, um, but the best way I found to carry it is externally. Trying to get this in a bag is pointless. I mean, you can compress it down quite a bit, but. Uh, it's still a massive item. I just carry it externally and get on with it. Right. Got a couple of buttons on this end. So when it all folds up and rolls in itself, you just button it together. Um, I don't bother with that. As I said, the straps of the Bergen kind of keep it in place. Uh, I'll unroll it. Off cam, I think. Cause it's, no, I can do it at one end. It's quite long. I like it because I tried a few sleeping bags and um, I'm six foot six and everything seemed to be too short for me. So it's an impressive length, I have to say. That's not a bad size. As I say, I'm six foot six and I've got plenty of room. Uh, a lot of the larger gentlemen do say they struggle with chest room. If you're broad shouldered or quite a big chap, you may find you struggle. Um, but again, for width and I'm going to walk on this that's one two that's over two foot two and a half foot easily wide um, I made a simple modification to this is I took out the the cotton liner sheet that it comes with because to be frank it doesn't do anything the linen sheet is literally a linen sheet no I forgot I put it back in why did I do that hey Nat when did I do that Okay, I don't actually remember putting the linen sheet in there. The linen sheet has no thermal properties at all. It doesn't keep you warm. It's not an extra layer. It's no different to wearing a t-shirt. Um, I didn't actually know. My God, I've used this quite a few times recently. <laughs> no idea it was in there. Actually, I did know it was in there because I looked at a photo a while ago of it. And the, the bright green did stick out a mile away. Um, so yeah, it's got a linen sheet which is not really worth having in there, it's pointless. It is only literally, that was it, I put it back in for the winter. It's only in there to keep your wool blanket clean because this will wash and dry very quick and the wool blanket, as you know, will take a long time to dry and a nightmare to wash. Um, so it is literally only a linen sheet. Don't expect you know any thermal properties, as I say, to keep you warm. Um, the zip on the bivy bag, is heavy duty fantastic it's got a nice flap so you'd have to worry about any any draft getting through the zip uh, or touching the zip any contact from the skin because it is cold it's metal um, it's not nice having anything touch the side of your back or something when you're asleep in the middle of winter I use this all year round I've got no script for this I didn't actually know what I was gonna say it's just I've had quite a few people mention it and I've just seen someone comment on Facebook about a Czech army bedroll um, yeah, so I recommend losing the uh, losing the cotton liner sheet, the linen sheet. In the summer, you just don't need it. In the winter, I've got it in there just in case I get mud on me. Again, I don't want to transfer it to the wool blanket. Uh, if you notice on video, it's got a distinctive sound to it. I took out um, the linen sheet and the wool blanket, and I put a, a foil blanket in there. The full blanket, which is the same width 
and the same height goes all the way up to all the way up to the hood. Well, I'm just destroying the house. Freaking artwork the kids keep bringing home. Um, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six foot there, despite it being a bit crunched up, and I'll probably another foot for your head. Um, so you've got plenty of height. The hood is cool, folds inside out, so it sort of keeps itself clean while transporting. You don't have to worry about it at all. As I say, I keep it on the outside of my bag. It's quite often strapped to my trailer of the bike. It gets mud flinged up all over it, and it just brushes off when it's dry. There's some mud on there now. It's been on there for God knows how long. And it's just brushed off nice all over the carpet. Uh, the idea of the hood, obviously, to protect it. Um, you can put your jacket under there, instant pillow. When you zip it up, both sides zip up. one side zipped up but both sides zip up so you can make it into a mummy sleeping bag and it's got a pull cord too um, so you can put it tight around your head yeah, so you've got yourself a mummy sleeping bag so you can wrap yourself over, up in it really well um, tried the mummy sleeping bag bit but I toss and turn and it doesn't really suit me too much I'm not gonna say it's the best bit of kit in the world because there's lighter stuff out there's warmer stuff but for my needs it's brilliant um, only once I used it with a really cheap, thin sleeping bag, just an Argos summer sleeping bag, um, when I had the Lavu on the British Army folding bed, and it was just too hot. I think it was like 36 degrees in there, and the tent in the middle of winter, where it was uh, like 90 mile an hour winds, we had heavy rain all weekend, and it was just too hot with a sleeping bag. So I took the sleeping bag out, and it's generally fine as it is. Um, but you can add to it, you can put another fleece blanket in there, a wool blanket, you can attach some uh, elastic straps and hoop it all around the buttons so that it doesn't move around. But yeah, for me, um, it's fine, I've used it on the floor, I've used it on a folding bed, um, I've used it in a hammock, I've got a DD hammock, it works with, doesn't slide around too much, doesn't fall out. Uh, but it's not lightweight, compact, but if you're not going on a long journey, or you're in a car, or you know, methods of carrying it, it it's fine. Um, I've got a video somewhere where I walked a few miles along the canal after a weekend of camping um, with it on me, just to see if I could do it, and it wasn't that bad actually, I've carried heavier loads. But yeah, it's tough. It's it's definitely you can kick the shit out of it, drag it through camp backwards and blindfolded, and um, don't expect it to get any war wounds. As I say, I've had mine a couple of years now. Uh, it's been dragged through all sorts of mud and leaves and dirt, and uh, yeah, it's still going strong. Again, I've tried different configurations and sleep systems. And um, I bought this with the intention of modifying it and using another kit. And literally all I've done is add the full blanket. Um, but yeah, trial and error. It's it's like Marmite, each to their own. Some people will hate it. Some people will love it. Um, some people do hate this thing, but I think it's great. I paid, I think, £12, £13 for it, brand new, from Military Mart. Um, you can buy, pick it up anywhere, any surplus store, online, uh, eBay, Amazon, check out the internet. Um, but for the price, I seriously recommend it. It's one heavy duty bit of kit. And I reckon if I went and spent 60 quid on a, on a sleeping bag, uh, it would get snagged, ripped, you know, fold out of shape in no time. Um, but yeah, buy a stuff sack for it if you want, and then strap it to your bergen. But it does wobble about a bit. I found on a stuff sack, I just clamp it, cl clamp it straight to the, uh, to the bergen. Right, that's my check on your bedroll. If you've got any questions, give me a shout. I'll try and answer them as much as possible. They do come in two colours. I've seen this bright 
green one and I've seen like a, a more neutral colour. I think I'm a fan of the neutral colour but you kind of get what you uh, what you get when you order them. Um, I don't think you get a choice. But the raw blanket alone is worth the money. Bivy bag is great. It does compress down quite well the bivy bag. Um, the zip is the thing that makes it take up all the room. Um, I was going to use the bivy bag with a different configuration once. Uh, I had another wool blanket and a British Army liner sheet, the desert one. And it was crap, so I went back to the Czech one. Um, yeah, right. That's it for now, YouTube. Catch you in the next video.